think he is. He can't tell me what to do. No one can. He thinks he's so wise, but he doesn't know everything. Absolute truth? <laughs> what is truth anyway? I, I would be a much better ruler than him. Why, yes, if I were queen. And why not? Why shouldn't I be queen? I wouldn't let all that power go to waste. And I would look rather marvelous in a crown. There's no time to waste. I must come up with the plan, and I may need some assistance. Today is the day. I can't believe I'm finally here. After all these years of dreaming about it, I'm finally going to become a knight of the square table. Halt! Who goes there? <coughs> it is I, Albert. I have come from far away to join the knights of the square table. I'm sorry, but I can't let you in. First, you have to knock. Uh, okay. Who's there? Uh, it's still me. Me who? Me, Albert. Albert from the land of far away. No, no, no. That's not how it's done. It's like this. Say, knock, knock. Okay, knock, knock. Who's there? Now say, boo. Boo. <laughs> now I say, boo who? And then you ask me why I'm crying. You see, it's hilarious. <laughs> Welcome to the castle. I don't let anyone in without a joke. I love jokes. Here's one. Why did the knight fight with a sword made of cheddar cheese? I don't know, why? <laughs> because the cheese was extra sharp! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, that's just old George, the not-so-fearsome dragon who guards the castle. But really, he just eats and sleeps most of the time. <laughs> oh, sorry, old boy. <laughs> I'm Albert. Oh, nice to meet you, young man. You'll have to excuse Sir Laugh's lot. When he's guarding the gate, the price to enter is a joke, quite literally. Wait a minute, did you say Sir Laugh's lot? You're a knight? A real live knight of the square table? That's right, my fine fellow. And this is Eldrick, a very wise advisor to the king. Wow, nice to meet you both. I'm here because I want to become a knight of the square table. It's been my dream for as long as I can remember. Hmm. It's very nice, Albert, but it's unfortunately not quite that simple. Yeah, you can't just waltz in here and become a knight on your first day. It takes a long time. Like, really, really, really long. <laughs> Albert, it can take years. Do you have any experience? Well, I've never used a real sword, but my brother and I used to stick fight all the time growing up. <laughs> and my father's told me all the stories and legends of the Knights of the Square Table. And why do you want to become a knight? Well, I want to help protect the king and serve the kingdom. I want to do brave deeds and help people. <laughs> you know, I was just about your age when I first came here. Well, maybe a little older. <laughs> and death. Aren't you supposed to be guarding the gate? <laughs> oh, quite right. I'll be off now. Albert, you must have the proper training and prove yourself first before you can become a knight. Well, I'm ready to learn, but... I already know everything there is about sword fights and battles and dragons. I've read every book that I can get my hands on. But have you read the Book of Truth? The Book of what? The Book of Truth. The Book of Truth is the Word of God. The source of absolute truth. You see, without a standard of absolute truth, how will we know what is good or what is evil? Hmm. I never thought about it like that before. Yes. A knight knows that God has told us what is good and what is evil, and God cannot lie. You see, his enemy Satan is the father of lies. When you do battle, whether with your sword or with your words, you must stand for absolute truth. Only then could you become a knight of the square table. Wow, I think I understand. I want to become a knight even more now. I believe you do, and I'm willing to teach you. But first, you must begin by studying the Book of Truth. Here, you may have this copy of mine. It has my scribblings from throughout the years. I pray that you will cherish it as much as I have. I will, thank you. Sir Lafsalot can train you with the sword. He's a funny fellow, 
but he believes the book of truth, obeys God, and serves his king. Oh, speaking of him. <laughs> I overheard you, Eldrick, and I'll be delighted to give you a chance, Albert. Are you ready for your first sword fighting lesson? I sure am. All oh, right. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hold on. I got it. <laughs> on guard. <laughs> well, not so fast, my young friend. Let's start with the basics. Here, you gotta hold your sword properly. Hold it like this with both hands. Good. And keep your elbows bent and close to your body. Like this? <laughs> yes, that's right. Now, always hold your sword at the ready. The ready position helps you react faster to your opponent. Yes, just like knowing the truth of God's word keeps us at the ready for when someone asks us about what we believe. That's right. Now, just go like we're moving in slow motion. There are six different angles of an attack. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, 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 what have we here? Ah, future knight of the square table, our new friend, Albert. Good morning, Your Grace. Hello, ma'am. Oh, uh, my lady, I mean, your grace. Good morning, Eldrick, Sir Laughslot. So, you're trained to become a knight, are you? I am. Hmm, and where are you from, Albert? I'm from the land of far away. Well, welcome to the castle. You know, I should like to get to know our new young knight a little better. May I speak to him for a few moments? As you wish, your grace. But Albert, don't be too long. Okay. Come on, Albert, let's take a stroll. So tell me, what have you learned so far, young man? Well, today Eldrick gave me my first lesson on absolute truth. And Sir Lastelot is teaching me to sword fight. Hmm, and what has Eldrick told you exactly about absolute truth? Well, Eldrick said that God has given us a standard for absolute truth. His word. It's where the knight's code comes from. Eldrick yes. says that if I want to become a knight, I need to trust in God's word and stand for truth. Is that so? Yes. Absolute truth is the same for everyone, past, present, and future. You know, Albert, there are other ways, easier ways to become a knight than by reading some dusty old book. I may be willing to help speed up the process, that is, if you'd be willing to help me with something in return. Really? Wow, thank you. What is it? Oh, you know, I'm just going to need some eyes and ears open around me in the castle. What, you mean like spy? No, 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 no. Don't you worry. Not a spy. It's just... It's important for a duchess, that's all. It's important for a duchess to stay informed. Okay, that sounds like no problem. Oh, thank you so much, Albert. It was nice to meet you. Remember what we talked about. Bye, Your Grace. Oh, the duchess is so nice. Hmm. She may be nice, but can she be trusted? I'm not entirely sure <laughs> whose side the duchess is on. <laughs> Albert, Eldrick, I got a new joke. You want to hear it? <laughs> Who am I kidding? Of course you want to hear it. <laughs> Here goes. Wait. Are you ready? Yeah, let's hear it. Okay. <clears throat> why did the knight polish his outfit before the king's dinner party? I don't know. Why? <laughs> because he wanted to have a knight in shining armor. <laughs> <laughs> George is right, you two. Enough horsing around. <laughs> did you hear that, Albert? Eldrick's voice sounds a little hoarse to me. What do you say? Yay? Or nay? Uh, <laughs> Wait, what was that? I don't know. But it sounds like a job for a knight at the square table. Come on, let's go. Oh, it's the princess. Princess, whatever is the matter? I don't know. I just started crying for no reason. What should we do? Wait, wait a minute. Is this an onion? Princess, were you eating this before you started crying? Yes! Oh, no wonder you're crying. Onions can make people cry. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I pretended it was an apple, but that didn't work out so well. Yo, who are you? I'm Albert. Albert, that's a nice name. I'm Gwendolyn, Princess Gwendolyn. Princess, do you remember what I told you about pretending? Yes. Pretending is fun, but don't take it too far. Take care, or you can wind up with a scar. Her imagination is a little bizarre. Albert, what kind of things do you like pretending? Well, I used to always imagine that I was a knight of the square table. That's why I'm here. Eldrick and Sir Lastelot are training me today. <sighs> I 
like to imagine that I'm charging into battle sometimes or fighting a fearsome dragon. But there was that one time I was running in the Great Hall and then uh, I knocked over a vase and broke it. Then I had to call my well, father. Well, Sir Lastalot is training me to sword fight. He gave me my first lesson today. I wish I knew how to use a sword. Mm, I sure don't. But speaking of that, Albert, we ought to get back to your training. Hmm. I should like to introduce him to my father first. It wouldn't take long. Oh, I don't know, Your Highness. The king is a very busy man. Oh, he wouldn't mind. Oh, the king? Yeah, he wouldn't mind, especially because Albert helped me. I think he'd want to meet him. I'll go get him. This is really happening. I'm going to get to meet the king. Now, now listen. Don't forget to bow and call him Your Majesty. You've got to make a good impression. OK. Oh, Sir Lapsalot, don't make him any more nervous than he already is. Albert, just be yourself. Come outside and meet us afterwards. I will. Let's go, hurry up! Father, come on and wait. Father, Father, this is a young man I wanted you to meet. Albert! Oh dear, Albert! Albert, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, your majesty. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet, young man. You may rise. Albert is just arrived at the castle today. He is training, training to become a knight of the square table, father. Ah, well, you are most welcome here. Knighthood is a high calling. I rely upon my knights to protect the kingdom and stand for truth. May you train well and prove yourself worthy. Thank you, your majesty. Will Eldrick and Sir Lapsalot be training you then? Yes, I've had my first lessons today. You couldn't be trained by two better men. I look forward to seeing what God does in your life, Albert. Thank you, your majesty. And now, I must return to my duties. There's much to be done. In two days' time, we ride to a nearby village to resolve a disagreement between some little women. Off of you now, and no more snacking around. <laughs> yes, Father, I won't make that mistake again. Uh -huh. See if the cook came back with any real apples. Can you find your way outside, okay, Albert? Yeah, I think I can. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Hello there. Oh, oh, sorry. Your Grace. <laughs> the princess is such a delightful young lady, isn't she? So charming and creative. <laughs> you could say that. Oh, I just happened to be passing by and saw you with the king. Yes, Princess Gwendolyn wanted to introduce me. So I got to meet him, and on my very first day. Oh, that's exciting. That was so nice of him to meet you, and on your very first day, too. Yes, he's very busy, though. It sounds like he has a long journey planned ahead of him soon. Huh. Did he say where he was going or when he'd be going? He said he's going to settle a disagreement of some sort in a nearby village in a couple of days. I wonder which village. Albert, would you find out for me? Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's OK. I was just, I was um, planning a banquet for all the kings and all the kingsmen. You'd probably be invited. Um, you know, if I knew where he was going, I'd be able to know what night to plan the banquet on and when to plan it. OK, I can ask the princess and let you know. Oh, thank you so much, Albert. If you do this for me, I won't forget it. Your grace. I have something for you, Albert. You've dreamed your whole life of becoming a knight. But more important than becoming a knight is becoming a child of God. Now, a knight needs his armor. Well, there is another kind of armor that God gives his children to wear. It's invisible, but just as real. The first piece of that spiritual armor is the belt of truth. When you wear this belt, let it be a reminder to you of the spiritual armor given from God to his children. Yes, the belt of truth helps us to be people who tell the truth just as God does. Mm -hmm. Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, with unshakable faith in God and, and his word. Wow, thank you so much. I will treasure it always. But how do I become God's child? Let's sit down, Albert. Now there are two kingdoms, one good and one bad. The good kingdom is God's. The bad kingdom is the enemy Satan. Mm. When we are born, we are born into the bad kingdom, and we disobey God's commands. That is called sin. You see, sin 
separates us from God's good kingdom and him. But God loves us and wants us to be with him forever. So God sent his son Jesus to take our place in paying for our sin. Jesus lived a perfect life, died in our place, and rose from the dead so that we could be forgiven. You see, to be a part of God's good kingdom and children of him, we have to receive God's forgiveness. We need to admit that we have sinned and that we need Jesus. And he does the work for us. God will make you his child and give you his special armor to wear so that you can have an unshakable faith and stand strong against evil. Oh boy, I have a lot to think about after today. Yes, you do. And as you think about things, you should begin studying the Book of Truth. Oh, that's right. That copy you gave me. Yes. Wait, wait. Eldrick, Sir Lapsalot, have you seen it? Hmm? No, I haven't seen it since I gave it to you. Hi, guys. Hmm. Hi, George. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. What's the matter? The Book of Truth Eldrick gave me. I had it, but it's lost. I've got to find wait, it. I can help. Albert, wait. Let's think about this. Maybe try retracing your steps. Have you Where seen is it? it? Is it over here? Wait, nothing it's over here. It's, no. What about over there? Did you Has find anyone it? Looked over there? No. Wait, I think it's I see it. It's under your legs. It. I see it. No. What? what? It, you have it. Where is oh. it? Oh. Never oh. mind. Oh. I can't find it. Oh. Don't worry, Albert. I'm sorry, we'll continue Albert. to look. I'm sure it will turn up. It was here, but now it's gone. I'm sure we'll track it down in no time, little buddy. Just call me, sir, looks a lot. <laughs> Let me see, could it be? Oh, no! Oh, I lost my book of truth and found a headache. Albert? Your grace? Is something the matter? Quiet, George. Yes, I lost something. The Book of Truth Eldrick gave me. The special copy that he's had for so long and made all his notes in. It was here not long ago, but it's disappeared. We've looked everywhere for it, but we can't find it. Oh, that's too bad. I'm so sorry. Well, it's just a dusty old book anyway, right? <laughs> Said quiet. You know, Albert, you really shouldn't let yourself get so worked up about something that doesn't even matter. But it does matter. I mean, with all due respect, Your Grace, Studying the Book of Truth is important. It's where the Knight's Code comes from. If I want to become a knight, I need to study God's Word and stand for truth. Is that what Eldrick told you? Yeah. Albert, he's only telling you that so you can become like him and do whatever he says. The Book of Truth is just a bunch of fairy tales written a long time ago. That's not what Eldrick said. How does Eldrick know that absolute truth is God's word? How do you know what it is? Because, be because... You know what, Albert? I'm so sorry you lost your book, but don't worry. Remember, you can become a knight without it. Don't forget, I need an answer by tomorrow night about the king so I can plan the banquet. You've had a really, really long day, so you should go get some rest. Tell Eldrick I said so. Good night. <sighs> I'm sorry, Albert. No one I've talked to has seen it. Thank you for asking. But I brought you an apple, and it really is an apple, not an onion. Thank you. I'm not hungry right now, but I'll save it for later. Hmm. Maybe what you need is a break. I know. We could play a game. I don't know. Aw, uh, come on, Albert. Games always cheer me up. Well, what did you have in mind? Uh, well, let's see. Oh! Uh, we could toss the apple and see how many times we can catch it. Sounds good. One. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but no one we've spoke with has seen your book of truth, Albert. Well, thank you for asking. We'll keep looking, though. Thank you all for all your help. Uh, that's what friends are for, Al. Well, it's getting late. We all ought to get some food in our bellies and go to sleep. That's right. Hey. <laughs> Do you know what time of day and night has to be especially on his guard? Wait, 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 let me guess. Nighttime! Ha, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> However, you'd be most welcome to take your supper with me this, this evening, and then we can put you up in one of the spare rooms for rest. Thank you. Now, Albert, sleep is very important for your training. You better have a good night if you want to be a good night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> good night. Good night, guys. Uh, this way, Albert. 
Uh, Eldrick, can I tell you something? Yes, of course. While you and the others were gone, and I was searching for my book of truth, the Duchess found me in the courtyard. She did, did she? Yes. She asked me if something was wrong, so I told her. But then she said something strange. She said that I shouldn't be so upset about losing my book of truth because it's really not that important. She says, I don't need it. Hmm. And I knew that couldn't be true because that's not what you told me. But she sounded so sure. Oh boy, she told me that the book of truth is nothing but a bunch of fairy tales and there is no way that we can know that it is God's word. Then it's just as I feared. The Duchess is not on the side of good. You mean she's bad? I'm afraid so. Oh. Do you remember what I told you about how God is the source of absolute truth and he cannot lie? Mm -hmm. But his enemy, Satan, who is the father of lies, he has been influencing her and she has been telling lies to undermine your training. But she's been so nice to me. <laughs> that may be. But the Duchess has shown whose side she's on by making you doubt God and his word. Oh, Albert, I'm not sure what to do. You must make a decision, Albert. If you are on the side of God as his child and part of his good kingdom, you will be right with him and at peace. If you are not on his side, you will be at war with him. Remember the spiritual armor, starting with the belt of truth. Next comes the breastplate of righteousness and the shoes of peace. You see, the breastplate of righteousness will help you to do what is right. You will wear the shoes of peace so that you could tell others the truth, just as God does. Even people, just like the Duchess. Come, my boy. It's been a long day. Let's get something to eat. Okay. Ah, oh, is there anything more satisfying than a hard day's work? My plan is coming along quite nicely. Thank you. So, I got that young Albert just where I want him and wrapped around my finger. All he can think about is becoming a knight. And he has no idea that I stole his book of truth. And next, I'm going to steal the crown. Once I find out where the king is going, I'll send my servants and they'll take care of everything. The king will never return and that princess will not take that crown away from me. I will be queen before that princess can even imagine it. <laughs> How did you sleep last night, Albert? Huh, <sighs> not very good. I had a strange dream. I'm sorry to hear about that. What was it about? There was a golden crown sitting on a pedestal. It was shining in the sunlight. I had this warm, safe feeling. Everything was peaceful. But suddenly, the dream changed. A big shadow appeared that got bigger and bigger and bigger. It formed the shape of a hand. Everything started to get dark and I felt scared. Then the shadow went to reach for the crown, but just before it could grab it, I woke up. That is strange, Albert. Do you think it means anything? I don't know. How about you head outside? I'm sure Sir Laughsalot is eager to get started on your second day of training. I must speak with the king. Is everything okay, Eldrick? I pray so. Hmm. <laughs> Good morning, Al. Good morning, Sir Lastalot. I'm ready for my next sword fighting lesson. <laughs> Excellent. First, let's see what you remember. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> well done, Albert. You've got the angles of an attack down pat. I think it's time to move on to defense. It's important to learn how to defend yourself in a fight. The first defensive move in sword fighting is the simple step away. When your opponent brings their sword toward you, you can take a big step away to avoid their attack. Now, you try it. Whoa. <laughs> well done, Albert. You're a fast learner. Thank you. <laughs> oh, if I might interrupt, I have a question. What two pieces of armor does a knight wear to protect himself from the enemy's attacks? Albert? Oh, uh, don't tell me, don't tell me. Um, his shield? That's right. And what yes. is the other? Oh, oh, I know this. His helmet. <laughs> yes, his shield and helmet. <laughs> Today you're learning about how to protect yourself in a sword fight using good defense. Huh. A knight also needs a shield and helmet 
to protect his body in battle. In the same way, there are two pieces of spiritual armor that will help to protect you from the enemy's attacks, the shield of faith and the helmet of salvation. When you become a child of God, you belong to him. Uh, that doesn't mean the enemy Satan won't tempt you. He wants you to sin or give up. You must learn to discern, Albert. Learn to discern the truth from lies and not listen to him. What does discern mean? Uh, it means to tell the difference, like the difference between truth and a lie. Sometimes it can be difficult to discern. That's why the book of truth is so important. We can always turn to God's word for answers. Maybe I'll find my book of truth today. I wish I could keep looking with you, Albert, but I've got to get back to my own training with the other knights now. You keep practicing. I'll see you later. I will. <laughs> hmm. Eldrick, how was your meeting with the king? Is everything okay? See, I was troubled by your dream, Albert, because I had a similar one, especially after hearing of your conversations with the Duchess. As an advisor to the king, it's my job to look out for him. I went to him with my concerns. Hmm, and what did he say? He's contemplating and praying, as am I. You see, I fear that the darkness in our dreams may represent a real danger. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi, George. How are you, my boy? Okay, okay, I know you're hungry. Here you go. So, Albert, I was thinking I could give you a tour of the castle today. Would you like me to show you around? I would love that. Okay, Aldrich. We'll see you later. Okay, come on. Hurry up. Okay, so here are portraits of my family. This is my father and my grandfather and my great-grandfather and my great-great-grandfather and my great-great-great-grandfather and here, right here, that's my great-great-great-great-great-great-grandfather and uh, so on. And my aunts and my uncles and my cousins and that's my third cousin once removed on my mother's side. Princess Gwendolyn, where is your mother? Oh, she's in heaven. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I really do miss her, but I know she's in heaven with God, so someday I'll get to see her again. But anyways, here we are back in the Great Hall, and yeah. Wow, thanks for the tour. The castle is so big. I know. I've grown up here my whole entire life, and I can still get turned around sometimes. Know what else? There's secret tunnels. I've heard about a secret chamber hidden deep down below the castle. I imagine it must be ever so mysterious and exciting. Wow, that is so cool. I Maybe know. we can check it out later. That's a great idea. But first, breakfast. I'm starving. I have not eaten yet. Okay, I better go find Eldrick. Oh, okay. I'll see you later then. Bye. Bye. Wow, a secret chamber? Sounds mysterious. Hey, Maybe it really is a secret hideout. Maybe it's the secret hideout of a thief. Maybe whoever took my book of truth is hiding it in the secret chamber. Albert, you're oh. back. Oh, hello, Eldrick. Uh, the princess had to go get some breakfast. Eldrick, I've been thinking about what you told me about God and his good kingdom and about truth and spiritual armor. And I've decided that I want to be part of God's good kingdom. Eldrick, I don't want to be part of the bad kingdom. I know I've sinned, I've lied, I've disobeyed my parents and so much more, but I want to be part of God's kingdom and I want to wear his spiritual armor so that I can serve the king, serve God, and stand for truth. I couldn't be happier to hear this, Albert. Come, let's sit down. Now, you must tell God what you just told me. You must tell him that you know you are a sinner and that you know you need Jesus. You see, salvation is a free gift, one that you need ask for. Okay. Dear Lord, thank you for my friends, Eldrick, Sir Lancelot, and Princess Gwendolyn. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus, to die for our sins so that we can be part of your good kingdom. Thank you that he rose from the dead. 
please give me your spiritual armor to wear so that I can stand strong for truth, serve you and the king. Please forgive me of my sin so that I can be part of the good kingdom. And please help me find my book of truth. And please help me become a knight. Amen. Amen, Albert. <clears throat> Thank you, Aldrich. Now I have to find the book of truth, and I think I know where it is. Albert, wait. Where are you going? Albert! Aldrich, what's the matter? Where's Albert? It's Albert. He ran into the castle and disappeared. He said he thought he might know where his book of truth was. Oh, no. Oh, no. What have I done? Your Highness, what is it? I... When I showed him around the castle, I told him about the secret tunnels and the legend about the secret chamber. I wonder if he's gone searching for it. That isn't good. The secret passages are very, very dangerous. We must search for him. Let us search for... Let us fetch Sir Lapsalot. He knows the tunnels much better than I do. I thought I was the one. <laughs> Wait, what? What's going on? Sir Lapsalot. No, no. We need your help. Oh. I'm at your disposal. What's the matter? It's Albert. He's missing. He disappeared a bit ago to look for his book of truth. The princess suggested that he went into the secret tunnels in search of the secret chamber. The secret tunnels? That's not good. He could get lost. Or worse. Now, now. Let's not jump to conclusions. There's no time to waste. We need your help, and we know that you know the secret tunnels best. Follow me. Absolut, where are you? I need you. Well, 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 looks like you have something there that belongs to me. You. These are your evil plans to take the crown, aren't they? Clever boy. <laughs> and you stole my book of truth. I was only trying to help you, Albert. You don't need that book to become a knight. You are not trying to help me. You are trying to confuse me by lying to me. You only wanted me to get information for you so you could get rid of the king. So I told a little lie. It was for your own good, Albert. And remember, I can still make you a knight when I become queen. You don't need all of that. Uh, you I, do still want to become a knight, don't you? I mean, yes, but... Then all you have to do is tell me where the king is going so I can send my servants and take care of the rest. Uh, Albert, give me the scroll. No, no. Albert? I can't. Albert! Uh, no! Albert! Oh, what have I done? No, 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 no. Is that no. you? Albert! Oh. Albert, what's going on? Albert! Sir so laughs a lot. Where are you? Albert! Albert! Aldrich. Oh, Albert! Oh. Albert! Albert! Come on, guys. I'm so sorry that I ran off, but I had a hunch, and my hunch was correct. You've been in the secret tunnels! Yes, and not only that, I found the secret chamber. <gasps> However did you find it? Many have searched the secret tunnels for years and never found it. I prayed the whole time. I asked God to let me know if my book of truth was in the secret chamber. And look what I found. <laughs> this is wonderful news, Albert. Wonderful. I'm glad that you prayed. God wants us to talk to him all the time. I also have bad news, very bad news. The, the Duchess has a plan to steal the crown from the king. When I was in the secret chamber, I found a scroll with plans of hers to overthrow and take the crown. I came out of the tunnel, I had it in my hands, she was here, and she took the scroll from me. And now, I have no proof. Oh. Albert, you have your word. I believe you. We must tell the king at once. <gasps> Duchess, it's over. We know your plans, and we're going to tell the king. You may know my plans, but the king never shall. You have no proof! We will when you hand over that scroll. Never! It wasn't a suggestion. Albert, do something. Albert, don't let them do this. Mm. Help me, Albert. not help you. Do not listen to her, Albert. Remember your training. Through prayer and wearing God's armor, we can have victory over the enemy. Albert, don't let them do this. Uh, you Princess, guys should go warn the let king. Let us go tell the king. That's a great idea. Give up, Duchess. It's no. over. No, Albert. Hand us the scroll. Albert, do something. It's mm. too late. And I will make you a knight. When I am queen, I'll make you the greatest, most amazing knight. And I will be the best queen ever to rule. No more talk about absolute truth. No more books. No more of this nonsense reading. Just absolute power. 
Albert, help me. You better call your guards, because we're about to take you down. Guards! Guards! No, Duchess. I would rather not be a knight at all than be involved in your evil schemes. God has been given me his spiritual armor so that I can stand strong. You might not be able to see it, but it's real. The belt of truth gives me unshakable faith and trust in God's word and allows me to tell the truth like he does. The breastplate of righteousness allows me to do what's right. The shoes of peace allow me to share God's word with other people. And the shield of faith and helmet of salvation help guard me from the enemy's attacks. You want me to give in to temptation, but I know that through prayer and wearing God's armor, I can have victory! Duchess, Duchess, I've been informed of your treachery. Hand over that scroll. Duchess, your plans are thwarted. Thanks be to God. I hereby sentence you to the deepest, darkest dungeon. We have the rest of your days to consider your choices. I pray it isn't too late for you to turn from a good ways. Take her away, she laughs at her. <laughs> Gladly. No, no, no. Get over No! Get over ah! Come on! Ah! Ah! No! Come on! Ah! I want to thank you for our heroism, Albert. You braved the secret tunnels and uncovered the sinister plot. Eldrick told me that you told the truth and chose to do what's right even though the Duchess offered you something you wanted very much. Thank you, Your Majesty, but I am but your humble servant. And we are all servants of the King of Kings. I rejoice to become a part of his good kingdom as his child. Continue to seek the truth and stand firm in the battle between good and evil. From now on, as a knight of the square table. Yes! Albert, you've proven yourself worthy, brave, and true. Therefore I, the King, do hereby dub thee Sir Albert, a knight of the square table. Congratulations, Albert! Sir Albert. Oh, thank you so much. I can't believe it. This is the second best moment of my life. What was the first best? The moment I decided to become God's child. Eldrick, thank you for everything. Albert, it's time to learn about the last piece of spiritual armor. There's another one? Yes, but it's one you've known about all along. The last piece of armor is the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the book of truth. You see, God wants us to know it, love it, obey it, and speak it. Your new life as God's child and your training as a knight have only just begun. <laughs> You'll be training with the big boys now, Albert. <laughs> Most of the knights of the square table are in their <laughs> middle ages. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Albert, let's go celebrate! You too, George. <laughs> <laughs>